A privacy policy tells users what you're doing with their data. Anything you gather from them, whether it be an email address, first name, location, or whatever, it has to be disclosed to your website visitor, and then you have to tell them what you plan to do with that information, even if your plans are as simple as sending a birthday discount via email. So you might be wondering, what should your privacy policy include? Well, here's a few things. How you collect information, what you do with collected information, what cookies, pixels, and other trackers your site uses and their purpose, any advertising networks and their methods or purpose of data collection and ad delivery, how your users can opt in and opt out of their data being collected and stored, how your users can request their data be turned over to them and or deleted, and finally, contact information for site administrators. These things are the bread and butter of privacy policies. Ideally, visitors would take a look at your policy and decide if they're comfortable with using your services. More realistically, it covers you legally. So what do you do with user data? Here's a real kicker. What you do with the data is just as important to disclose as it is that you are actually collecting it. You might be wondering why, and it's because data is big business. Many sites sell or share their user data. Others, more ethically, use the collected data to personalize content and ads or other similar applications. Regardless of what the use is, you must disclose it. In any case, if someone's not comfortable with the way a website uses their information, the GDPR outlines the right to be forgotten. This means sites are bound by law to delete your information if you ask them to. So finally, how do you actually create a privacy policy? Ideally, you'd enlist the help of a lawyer to help you draft your privacy policy. However, that's not a practical option or really necessary for the vast majority of site owners. We're going to touch on a few websites that can generate a simple privacy policy for you. Number one, Termageddon. Anytime new laws are passed that affect privacy data, Termageddon updates your embedded privacy policy to reflect them. Setting it up is as simple as answering questions about your business or website. Then you paste an embed code into the page where it will live. You can override any updates or changes and you can edit the policy manually too. If you handle a lot of user data, then this is $10 a month well spent. Number two, terms feed. Each time you want to create a new policy, the service will walk you through a questionnaire to help you determine the clauses you need. When the process is over, you'll receive your new policy via email. The turnaround is pretty quick, and that way you can paste it into your website and have it live for your visitors immediately. It's free with paid options available. And finally, number three, Firebase. Powered by Google and designed mostly for mobile apps, Firebase is a great privacy generator especially when you want something fast, easy, and customized for very specific services. It's easy to implement and set up, and it's a more simplistic privacy policy. However, that doesn't mean it's useless or even bad. The best part though is that it's free. And finally, how do you actually add your privacy policy to your website? Well, think about it. A privacy policy is simply a page. So if you're using WordPress, create a new page, paste your policy, and then publish it. Now just add a link to your navigation location of your choice, and you're all set and ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.